I'd like to read a quote to you from an interview that we recently did with the 2019 President's Award winner, one of the award winners, Marion Heathcote. So she had said that when she attended the virtual New York conference, um, she attended it to provide support in challenging times, and she came away incredibly impressed by what had been achieved in a short space of time in such a new and challenging circumstances. So my question to you is first, could you address her comment about providing support in challenging times? Absolutely. So we all know from our personal lives and our professional lives that the last few months have been difficult and have created a lot of challenges, um, including uh, economic challenges. And, you know, we have to have a long-term vision about INTA, sustaining the association so that it's here for us and here for our community, both from a substantive standpoint because of the critical role it plays in IP advocacy, and also in terms of the, own, the value we all get from INTA. And so I appreciate Mary, I'm not surprised by it because I know Mary, but I appreciate Marion's recognition that some near-term support of INTA, including by attendance at the annual meeting, the leadership meeting, and other conferences, is really critical and well-earned by all that INTA has provided its members and the IP community historically through the years, but also a sound investment to ensure we can sustain that going forward. And the second part of what she said, um, how will the annual meeting and leadership meeting build on the virtual New York conference? So um, it, it's really exciting, actually. The New York conference, I think, turned out to be the first brick and what will be a, an amazing wall. Um, Marion's right. It, that was in June. It was pretty soon after everybody was sheltering in place. And I was amazed, even with the planning I was involved in beforehand, at how well that conference was pulled off. And it, invol it involved kind of trial runs of a lot of the things we're talking about for the annual meeting and leadership meeting. It had networking components, it had various formats, on demand, live, trying to address different time zones, very cutting edge content, um, and, and the use of technology in a virtual platform. And we are absolutely building off that. For the annual meeting and the leadership meeting it's very exciting i think we're going to anybody who attended or heard about the new york conference i think is going to be blown away by how we've expanded on that and elevated that and i should say it's exciting also because i think the annual meeting and the leadership meeting will continue to build on a foundation where we learn from the experience of having these virtual conferences and events that we continue to carry forward, you know? Um, not, you know, I look forward to the day we have the in-person annual meeting again, but that doesn't mean there's still not a place for virtual conferences and events and everything we're doing for the annual meter, meeting and leadership meeting is, is gonna teach us how to maximize that format going forward as well. So it's really exciting. And it, and it all started in June. 